Zach, aka Zach's Reviews. We are back again with another video, and guys, this will be episode 5. Like, this was the end of the Rivervale, uh, you know, uh, five-part five event. event, which is insane, guys. Um, not gonna lie, me and my sister, you know, we dropped off on episode uh, 3 and 4. Um, of course, we, we watched, watched them, them, but we just didn't do it because I was sick and Zach was busy with work, so we just... Yeah, she was sick and I had stuff with work and I've just been really bit busy. And I'm not gonna lie, I we, we weren't really into it, so we're like, I don't even know. So it kind of like, it was kind of a blessing in disguise that we didn't, like, we didn't do the other things, even though, you know, we were doing other yeah. things at the time. But we still watch them. We'll elaborate on what we liked, uh, what we did and didn't like about those episodes, mainly did not like. Um, but we'll elaborate towards the end. But right now, guys, we have a lot to talk about, about this, again, this conclusion of the five-part event of Rivervale. Um, this episode was called, uh, you know, Jughead's... The Jughead Jughead's, Paradox. The, yeah, the Jughead Paradox, which I love. Um, because, you know... It's like he got his own episode, kind of. And I, I, it was all about him. And it makes sense. It was about him. And it makes sense that everything that happened in this episode really it made me, like very confused but it made me understand of what was going on and i really love how they wrapped this rivervale conclusion uh, yeah. up i really do like yeah, it yeah okay so so what'd you like about it Annie? i was like the one part where betty and arch are two trying to get married yeah by the way arch is alive which i'm very happy about but they were talking about archie and better time about, about getting married i was just happy to see KJ being back on the yeah, show. Even if it yeah. wasn't our Archie, I was so happy to see KJ Apa. K yo back on the screen. I was yeah. like, okay, I was like, okay, we're giving sort of things to a different extent. And we understand now why Yeah, and then they, he yeah. is alive because yeah. it gets a little weird. And then Dr. Colonel Jr. calls yeah. up Badney and it's like, Hey, I just got a corpse and it's Jughead Jones and she's like Betty's like, uh, that's not possible. It's Jack not funny Head, either. It's not funny either. That, Jack Head's right here, here. He's so very much alive. They said, just leave me alone. Stop calling me. Yeah, stop, I, stop, like, like, leave me alone. Stop harassing me. Uh, yeah, so right away, when they said that, I was like, what is going on? Because... It scared me. It was just very... I was, I was like, oh my god, because it was very weird, because Jughead, when he was walking initially through the school, because they're in the school, mind you, at this point... And they're walking through the school, and I'm like, well, Jughead's walking through the school, and like, it, it's weird because as we, I'm thinking this is Rivervale right now, and I'm thinking, okay, so why is Jughead having all these visions, like, visions and, and nightmares? And, about being back in high school. Exactly, like him walking down there playing the Breakfast Club music, and he's seeing, you know, like his high school life, but from a different perspective, and he sees himself. And I'm here, I'm, I'm thinking, what is happening right now? And then he goes into the, you know, the, you know, the teacher's lounge and everybody is just the normal selves of them being teachers in the normal world of River of Riverdale. Yeah, I was like, okay, what's teacher, happening right now? Because like, Archie, they're always just being teaching, they're all talking about. It's like, it felt, it was normal again, like, because in our Riverdale timeline, they aren't, they aren't. Really, I don't think they're teachers anymore. If one of my, from what I at least no, gathered, because none of them know that, no, because none of them are um, teachers. Exactly. Well, I guess teach. Well, I guess teaching started back up in this version of in this in Rivervale. I guess in that version of Rivervale. Because Archie had that shirt. Off. So yeah, this is like I think normal Rivervale, but like our the our the Jughead of that river of of that Rivervale is getting memories of normal Riverdale yeah. and. He's trying to explain to everybody, and then the whole, you know, you know, D Dr. Colonel Jr. finding Jughead's body, and then we end up finding out that's the, the narrator yeah. of Rivervale, and it's like, that's crazy, because there's two of them, and we just think it's that Jughead and Rivervale narrating, but there's actually two Jugheads, and it makes sense because one was all you know, you know, spiffy and had the suits on, yeah. and, and then we see that that same ju in, in that world with just normal looking Jughead. So I'm like, it would make sense that it's like breaking the fourth wall. This episode made think, my brain explode multiple times. I think with with the whole Jughead, I think it's just kind of crazy because imagine how much takes and filming Cole Sprouse. Shout out to Cole Sprouse because he. 
he, he had a busy day that day filming this episode. Like, he did great doing multiple ends of things. Like, good for him. Like, Zach isn't really a big I, I'm, fan of Cole, but, like, I, but, pro but I can, yeah, like, yeah, I mean, like, it's, he really did a great job. I mean, I love him as Jughead. I've said that. I, he's, he's really good at playing Jughead, but, like, he really, like, oh my god, like, he, the, the, like, it just shows his, his range, that like, he was able to play different variations of, like, ju uh, Jughead. Himself, like, and I loved that. Yeah, it was really cool. And that just, shout out to, also, like, the, um, the, you know, the, the clothing department making everybody look like the way they looked like in high school. Yeah. And that scene where, like, the, that Rivervale Jughead's walking down and he sees his, his younger self and sees Betty and Veronica and Kevin and mm -hmm. sees Archie with, uh, you know, um, with Miss Grundy. And they brought the, it looks like they brought the actress back that played Miss Grundy. I thought that was Veronica. No, that was, that was Miss Grundy that he was like, and he went to Archie. That was Miss Grundy. And I love how, like, they brought old characters back. They brought, they brought that, back Ross Butler. Exactly. The, the other, you know. The Archie from season one. Yeah, the Reggie from season one. No. And two. No, no, no. He's in two. Which is season one? Season one. Are you sure? Yeah, because Charles came in season okay, one. Okay, whatever. Season uh, one. No, no hate on Charles when talking about him, but. I also love Ross Butler. That was cool. That was cool to see their dynamic when when we see because Rivervale ends up splitting into a different a different earth of Rivervale. So yeah. we get like two Rivervales, but like the more it splits or uh, from what I'm understanding, the more it expands is when they bigger split, things start happening. Like they, they bleeds they, over yeah, the normal lore from Riverdale bleeds over to Rivervale and so things to, start to change. Yeah, because uh we saw, we saw Reggie season one, Reggie yes, Ross. Yes, yeah, we saw, you know, uh, Ethel was back. Ethel was back. Dolly was, Dolly was back. Yeah, I was like, this is insane. Ben was back. Ben was back. I was, it was like, oh my God. And Grundy was back. And finding out that Veronica, <laughs> Veronica's dad. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, Hiram is not a villain. And he was. And, and he, he wasn't, and he was dead. Yes. Like, because... In that timeline, because, and that sh that shook me to my core. I'm like, oh my god. Is this, like, normal because, for that universe? Or did the bleeding over and them trying to, like... the It's like, it's trying to, like, River Riverdale's trying to course correct Riverdale and is, like, by Veronica, bleeding over. Yeah, I'm like, what does... Because Veronica said that... He's like, she's like, when I died in the night in front of my... Quintanilla. Yeah, and she's like, no, uh, it, we, no more, no Jonas Brothers or something. She said we, something about the Jonas Brothers. We, we had a Kansas Jonas Brothers performance. That was funny. That was funny. But like, did was this the bleeding over? I'm thinking, yeah, and it needed to course correct. But why? What? Or, or was it normal? Did actually in that universe before the course correcting of the bleeding over of Riverdale did, did Hiram die? die? And that would explain how we didn't get any mention of him all that time in Rivervale. So I do love what they're doing, and also. Jason being alive? Yeah, that was previous freak. And no, what? And Clifford being the black hood, not how? Is how not psycho in Riverdale? That, that shock in Riverdale, that shocked me. Also, like, seeing they the, mentioned... the character that plays Jason actually have lines, because he didn't get any lines in, like, the previous, like, when we've, when we've seen, yeah. you know, flashes of him and all that stuff. Seeing him actually give lines was awesome. I really do like it, and I do like how, at the end of this, Rivervale and Riverdale end up being, like, their own separate universes. They, they, because we were at the point where, like, they're, they're blending in together, and Jughead yeah. thinks that it, it like, it, it's just, they're both gonna explode. They're, like, they're both gonna not exist anymore. Yeah. Well, uh, when Betty, which was when Betty shot, crazy. When Betty shot Archie. Which, he, heart, that Archie did deserve it, because that Archie and the bit. is... A bit. It's crazy because that you know explaining how Archie was alive because again they all had the 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 the, the nightmares that the arch that you know that the the normal Rivervale you know Archie had from Riverdale's Archie when the explo explosion went off it was that it was the paradox of that explosion of the good versus evil Betty's love Betty and Archie's love versus Hiram is what made the paradox along with you know the magic um, that you know Cheryl casted along with you know the uh, the um, the the rock the the what's it, what was it what was it called the um that you know Hiram was digging for it was the palladium the palladium rock 
So all that created this big bang, the paradox, which set off everything. It's, I love how all of them are having a recognition of that Rivervale, all that stuff that went down yeah. in this new version of Rivervale. Because we get like two Rivervales from what I'm understanding when they have like, they finally remembered stuff from that Rivervale. But totally things were different. There was an Ar Archie was alive in that universe. Apparently people come back to live, come back to, uh, come back from the dead in that one, universe. Season Archie was back. That's... Uh, from bleeding over, every, you know, all the old characters that died off, like, uh, you know. Miss Grundy. It's just crazy to me. Clifford. Jason. I, I loved it. I loved it. I love how in this uh, universe, everybody comes back from the dead, and I love how that Archie knew, like, he knew all the paradoxes, what was happening. He knew what was happening. Yeah, Archie also explained, he like, I would love, I would love for my dad to be back. I love to see me, you know, yeah, uh, get, married. You know, get married. But, like, that also sucked my heart. That, that, yeah, that hit me hard because, because it's like, we know. My friend is in a lot you know, of that, You know, yeah, we knew. Um, Lou Perry died from a stroke. Yeah. At 50, so, 50, year, 50 years old. Like last year, I, 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 yeah. 2019, but that's crazy because it really hit home because it's like all the yeah, all these characters yeah. that died off in the show can come back. But it but really hit home because that I mean I I, I think that was hard for KJ because you know KJ and and Luke Perry were very very close because yeah, they had that you he, know they had that real brother you know yeah. that, you know father and son bond and even in real life so that must yeah. have been really hard and him like you know you know I, I even if it's a zero point zero but zero chance that he will come back I we're gonna do this I need to do this and it just really hit because it's like he damn, killed Veronica yeah he killed Veronica he ended up being the killer of that universe he killed he Veronica killed, he, he killed, killed Cheryl, Cheryl. He killed because it was trying to course correct from Riverdale. It tried to course correct and he even said that. It's like it's it's all bleeding over. It's course correcting. You're the villain of this of this of this universe. He killed Jughead. And he was trying to, but then that's when Betty came no. in and said, Don't you leave Other it. Jughead. Oh yeah, I killed that you know, the narrator Jughead of the original Rivervale. So that was just crazy to me what was going on in this episode. And the fact that like that um Doily knew that this was go what was going on and he wanted the universes to explode. He's like, you know, I'll be the first one to see this all go down. I'll be, I'll be, you know, go down in history as the person to see this all go down. And Ethel was like, I know how to save Riverdale, the original, like, universe. I thought... The, the, they... the, the, the Earth One universe, that yeah, was insane. I thought when they bring back people from the dead, I thought they were going to see Edgar, 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 I can't remember his wife's name, her name is my mind. But it makes sense because Paul, it I wasn't think Polly, Charles, Shane. I think we see all that. But, but no. I love what they did with this episode. It was the strongest episode he out of this. He said off from the bat that he's like, oh, I love this episode. Exactly because it's like after all that stupid stuff we got had in the previous episodes and stuff, I just didn't like. I loved this episode. It's like it was really good. I wish they would have led more into Jughead realizing stuff, but I'm happy that he was the one to do it. He's always been the narrator of this universe. Yeah. And I love how, like, he had these comics this entire time, apparently, in this alternate universe or whatever. And that's just crazy. He has the comics in this alternate universe. Yeah. And he doesn't re remember writing them. And that's just insane. In the alternate universe, he made... He wrote all of it, apparently. And what yeah. I'm understanding. And that's just, like... And, and what, I love how, like... To save both of these universes, there needs to be a purse, a battery, a human battery, yeah. and, we, and it's the it's the Jughead that re, that had the realization mm -hmm. that the river that Riverdale was real, and there was a bleeding over, and trying to convince everybody that this is what we need to do. We need to recreate the night with you know you know the you bomb know, the, with the bomb, but it doesn't have to be Archie and Betty. It, it can, can be, be Jughead and, 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 and Betty. I was like. Yeah. So they respected the Bughead fans, which Bug I, I was really happy he for. Was, like as much as I don't like Bughead, I was he, like, "That's really nice of the writers he, to give them one last Bughead." You know, let it slide. He I let, let it slide. slide. I let it slide. He I'm like, you know, it. I, I, he I, liked I, was, it. I was like, I'm gonna. I said, I said, I'm gonna let it slide because this was very clever how the writers did this. I'm gonna let it slide, and it makes sense in a, an alternate universe. This is. It was very clever. It was, shout out I to the writers. Wish. This is like a great episode. I loved this episode. I wish we got Barchi. And also, um, really originally wish. before, you know, the whole, you know, finding out it was Archie being the villain and, you know, you know, and, uh, you know, uh, that, that version of Betty saving, you know, Jughead from, you know, that version of, uh, version of Archie, we were going to have, uh, Vughead 
It was yeah. going to be Betty and, you know, yeah. and Veronica. Betty and Veronica? You mean no, Betty not and Betty and Veronica. Veronica. Oh, Lord. Um, Veronica, Veronica and yeah. Jughead. And apparently she's like, oh, it's going to be canon or whatever. So I'm thinking, I don't know this, guys, but, like, in the comics, did, like, they date or something? Or is because it, I feel could, like... Or, or was it, like, an alternate universe, a comic that wasn't canon to the comics, but now that this is canon to the comics because there's comics in here, does, does this make this canon that there would be Jughead? That's cool. If, you know, that's what some people, there are, maybe there are some fuckhead shippers and this really, like, is good for them. I'm happy that they get that, they get to, you know, enjoy that. So, it's always good when, you know, they, everybody gets to enjoy something of who they yeah. ship. And I really do appreciate that the writers did okay, that. Okay, I want to say this. I don't know if this is still going to be going on, like, in, in like, 2022. It's, it's been, we'll see you guys next. But, um, I'm slowly, slowly starting to like Virgie. I that's good. I haven't told you that yet. That's good. So, Come to the dark side. <laughs> he made a shirt that said it's birthday, and I've been wearing it a lot. Yeah. But I don't know how many of because he doesn't want me to. But I love how he, they have to decide to make these both, like, we see that, you know, narrator come back to life. And I love how when he went up to heaven, it was like pops a pops heaven up there. And everybody's they doing their the normal. They have the comics. the comics up there. They're all dressed in their normal comic accurate outfits. I was like, I'm loving this episode. And I love how he said we could save both. We don't have to destroy one to save the main timeline, the main universe. We can have both. What you got to do is we need a human battery that has, you know, that you can use our imagination. Hence Jughead with the typewriter and everything. And I'm like, this is pure genius. And I love, I was like, well, once you go, I need, but that means you can't come out there because, you know, it would totally like destroy the universe. If there's two Jugheads walking around, it would totally like destroy the universe. So you have to be put down in the bunker. You'll have, you'll be supplied with food and you'll be the writer of both of these universes. And you'll and you, and you keep them. And you and no and, and people won't remember you, but you'll be at the bunker and you will be the writer of both of these universes, keeping them in their own coherent universes without them colliding again. And you'll fade away. And you'll and pe you'll fade away from people knowing you. He'll still be there, but no one will remember uh, that Jughead and what he did to that save everybody. I love that. that. I hope that comes back down the line because they even said that. The comics are there now, and they will and, and they will be used again to yeah. save the universe or something. That, so that's when, interesting. When to me. when the narrator Jughead said him he'll fade away, that brought that made me sad, and it made me no, sad because Betty no. also was like, I don't want to, I don't want to like whatever. Yeah, that was a nice moment. That, that was Betty sad, but it also it it reminded me of the Malivor shit from Legacies and when Hope went in. Anyway, yeah, people not that. remembering. Yeah, so I am. I loved this episode. Yeah. And I love how it finally this put is our... This is an episode of the five parts that I liked. Yeah, same with me. I did was not feeling it until this episode. This episode... If only the the rest of it could have been like this. Because the other episodes were very weird. I just didn't like well, they them. They had to kill um, off KJ because he had to take care of Sasha. Yeah, but what I loved also is that... He fixed that universe, that Jughead from, you know, from the original Rivervale timeline, fixed the universe of that, of that different Rivervale of, you know, Cheryl and all, everybody coming, the, coming yeah. back from the dead and everything, and, and, you know, Ar that Archie being bad, like, he fixed it so everybody's normal, everybody's having a good time, everybody's happy, and, you know what I mean, like, he said it in a nice timeline where they wouldn't have to be in a, you know what I mean? You know, yeah. said for that, you know, Archie and that, you know, you know, and Betty yeah. to be in a bad timeline. We wanted to make sure it was okay for them and all that stuff. And I love how, like, Ethel is the one that's going to be bringing them food down below and, you know, doing, you know what I mean? That's just, it makes me happy to know that he's not going to be alone writing everything and he's going to have somebody there that know. knows he exists and knows what he did like, for the fate of the, these universes. I, I like, love this. So great. I feel like in, like, other, like, like, Order seasons. I feel like Ethel and Jughead had something going on. Yeah, I think they were just they, they were good friends, and I feel like you know they, they yeah. But I mean, I could see maybe in that and that because it's in. I guess that would be in a totally different universe now, or he's outside the universe, being the, the the writer of the stories of these universes. He's like the main head dude of like making these universes and keeping them you know going. Yeah. So I mean, maybe they could. Maybe he'll fall in love with her. Or maybe I, I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? But. I like. I do remember, love that. Also, if you guys remember, um, Edgar's wife's name, please put in the comments because it's Edgar's true. wife's name. Yeah. Um, I don't know, but um, 
That's crazy. I don't remember. Um, I, I didn't really like that plot line anyway, so it, kind of, it makes sense. I did like. I know you. I, I know. I know, Amy. I know. You tell them why? Yeah. You tell them why? You can tell them why. I know. Because I love Chad Michael Murray. Everybody loves Chad Michael Murray. Not everybody. <laughs> but um, but I love it because also. He fixes the normal timeline where Betty yeah. and Archie are Archie, fine, yeah. and the bomb doesn't go off, and and like that Jughead from what I'm understanding, the one that's writing everything, wrote in that he told is, them saying is, get out. That's what least what I'm understanding is that he hence the greeniness is like he's trying to call her saying get out. He's calling her in like from that into that universe saying get out. There's a bomb underneath your bed. Blah 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 blah. But she doesn't know it's. It's Jughead, a different version of Jughead. And what I really do love is that it looked for a second when like the bomb went off and Jughead from what we know and what we remember because My God, the piercings that the like the high When like, he's in the garage and the bomb goes off. Cause they remember they tell us in this episode that's where that jug that, that's where that version of Jughead is, he's in the garage. And, and like he and he can't hear. I was scared thinking, Oh my god, is is that gonna be the new plot line where like he can't hear? He goes deaf. I was like, oh my god, what's gonna happen? But he clearly hears, uh, you know, Cheryl in the promo and for, you know, yeah. of all, everything, saying, oh, I, I kind of casted a spell on you guys, you know what I mean? A curse on you guys. And he's like, what? And they're all like, what? So I'm excited for next season of Riverdale. We won't, we're not coming, it won't be back on until 2022. Well, it's, year. Not another, it's, so. not, it's not the next season, it's still season six. Just, it's just, yeah, I guess it, we'll be back. Yeah. Then. So that's crazy. I, I loved this episode. It was really good. I, liked I it. loved it. I liked it. And I love how both of the Reggies ended up killing one another. I know. They ended up killing each other. I was like, wow. She's, was like, like, yeah. she's like, I mean, I said sort it out, not kill each you other. Mean, you morons. You morons. I was like, damn. <sighs> that was funny. But also, oh, Veronica had a little kink going. She said, you know, we could have the fun with, you know, the three yeah, of us. No, no, no. I said... I was like, dang! I was like, she she, she played in the field. She said, she said, she said. She said. <laughs> uh, that, that, that was that was. And he said, uh, uh-uh. he's I'm not, I, I don't like to share. And he's like, neither do I. The other Reggie. I was like that. I was like, this is very funny. I love what they did with bringing both of the Reggies back. And I love how like Jughead explains to the other Reggies like, oh, Reggie's like, who who's this? And he's like, oh, there was kind of a snag in the thing. And I mean, that's just in a different issue. And he's like, I bet I'm in all these other issues. Why am I, why am I look different in this? Who's this dude? I love I loved that. That was so funny yeah. to me. It and was, they made it like a little it funny. funny. So, I loved that. So, uh, Reggie, our Reggie now, Charles, he had a Archie's bachelor party. Yeah. Bachelor party. And then, um, Ross... Reggie wanted to get wanted to get run to crash bachelor 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 eh, bachelor, bachelor party. party yeah and he was like a male stripper and I was like I am that fine was, with that that was funny too it's that's so that Reggie though from that from season one yeah, you would totally want to do something like that yeah. I I re I really do appreciate. The writers, like, oh, they, they, they killed this episode. As so shout know, out to, again, the writers, the cast members, the, the clothing design department, everybody a part of the show. You guys killed this episode. You guys know, killed it. We had to switch Reggie's because Ross was on to All of Us Love Before. He was on Fenton Reasons Why. Yeah, so. Fenton Reasons Why. So he had other stuff that was going on. Yeah, so, so that's why they which I mean, again, I I do like the new Reggie. I think I like the the new Reggie a lot. I, well, I know I like the new Reggie a lot more than the Ross Butler Reggie, but I do appreciate that Ross Butler Reggie because you know I did like some elements of him, but I did I I, I liked the newer Reggie that we got. But it was cool to see him come back. I really did appreciate it. Bell the Reggie mantle. I loved that. That was crit Bell. But guys, what a great conclusion to, to this, this kind of cr crappy five, five part, part event. event. Um, we only saw Sabrina in one episode. Yeah, we only saw Sabrina in one episode, and that was uh, Four. the fourth one. And what really annoyed me about that was is that we ended up finding out in Rivervale, or that the original version of Rivervale, before we get this new one that we get in this episode, that Cheryl never existed. It was always Abigail, and, and it was Poppy. always Poppy. And then we end up seeing that spirit go, and then we end up seeing Anna Blossom being put in Cheryl's body. And, then Cheryl and I kid you not, I, I was like... So I was like, so you're telling me the person 
I liked all this time was whatever, but I realized, okay, that's in a different university. It's never the Cheryl that I did like in that. I, 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 I like had the brain fart. And I was like, okay, so the Cheryl I did always like is fine. She's, she's, she's just Cheryl. But in this universe, it was never Cheryl. It was Abigail and, and Poppy. Poppy. I was like, okay, I can live with this. But I was like, I hate this plot line. This is stupid. But I do like how that Reggie, that, not Reggie, Fangs, um, Fang, it was, it was Fangs, Fangs Fogarty, right? Yeah. Yeah, Fangs Fogarty, uh, or was it, was it, or was it, uh, uh, no, what was it, the weird name? It was like, uh, Fens Fogarty. Yeah. Yeah, Fens Fogarty and the Abigail, like, universe is the one that set the curse so Abigail could never leave that, like, and, and said, oh, you're always going to be alone. You, 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 you know, you're, you know, no one's ever going to love you. Um, you know, you're going to, you're going to stay here and Abigail, suffer. Abigail. He set that, that, that curse on her. Hence why... Cheryl, I'm thinking in our timeline, like she, I don't know if she knew that that's what, what went down, but that's why she had that grudge all that time and everything. She so did explain. In our timeline, Ab they, in our timeline, Abigail died. Yes. But it explains, I, I'm, I'm hoping Cheryl does find out maybe that that's, you know, of what went down, hence why she did the curse on everybody. Cause, you know, Abigail. that version, you know, Jughead's, you know, like, all the members of the old, you know, had something to do with the yeah, suffering. The I'm Andrews, not just, you know, I'm not just, Coopers, you know, Abigail, but Poppy, Jones. and just kept going on. Hence why, that's why Cheryl got angry in our main timeline and set the curse. But I'm excited to see how she's, like, it almost seems like she's sorry about it yeah. in our normal timeline. I'm interested to see how they yeah. react to you cursed us. Yeah. Like, uh, it'd be inter I'm interested. But, guys, that was a great conclusion to this five part, you know, Rivervale event. Mm -hmm. Um, again, sorry that we didn't post the other ones, but again, that's time, you know, she was sick. She's been sick off and on lately. I've been, I don't, I've, I don't, I don't have COVID. I don't no, have no, COVID. she doesn't have COVID. Um, but she, um, but you know, she's fine now. I have I'm been still super busy. Uh, yeah, okay. I, I, I guess. Um, but I have been super busy and I'm trying to get back on track for you guys. I've been, Working, I've been trying to get back to the gym. I haven't went to the gym in, in, in months, and I, I just went today. Um, hence why this video will be out a little bit late. Um, and I've just been trying to get things back on track. You know, we have a big vic week this week with me having to make, you know, fix up, you know, you know, with me having to, you know, customize my Spider-Man suit, getting ready for No Way Home, which is literally the day after tomorrow. Yeah, and we're busy. And, which is insane. Yeah, so, so I really, yeah. I really think it might be a little bit late next week too, because Christmas is next week. Do we have legacies next week? No, we don't. I think we do. Do we? I think we do. Um, I think. Yeah. Do we have all? No. No. Do we have all? I can't remember if we have all American. I don't have seven. I don't think. I don't think we have all American next Monday. I think all American's done for winter break. I think. Same. Same with this. We we won't see you guys. Our our Riverdale. Fan, uh, you know. You know. You know. Riverdale. Riverdale fam. fam. We won't see you until next year. So, um, to continue this, the story. So, I don't know. I think, again, we won't be back with All American until after winter break. At least I think. I'm not quite sure. Let me know if you guys watch All American. And also, Let's again, for know. Legacies, I think it is this up. It is. It is. Because we did see on the chart. So, Legacies, I think well, this will be the last before winter break or the last. I don't think it's the last of the season. I think it's just winter break. Yeah, they, yeah, yeah. They're, so, they're so I, yeah, we won't see you until next year, River Fam. So, Riverdale Fam. I might just call, we should just call them River Fam. River, River fam. fam. So, we won't see you guys until next year. So, but we have a lot going on, a lot to offer this channel. Um, I got you know all I got you know um, Cobra Kai coming out this d December thirty first. I might actually do that. I, I haven't watched Cobra Kai, so I might probably do that. not because you are very behind and. Okay. I did my last review by myself, so I'm probably doing this one by myself. Crap. But um, I want to see. No, nah, you Robbie lover. Can um, can no, can can. no, but um, but yeah. So we, I will be doing a probably a full on conclusion of episode, season four of Cobra Kai. I will do my full on review for that. I'm gonna binge it in a day, and that will be up on December 31st. It will be up my review for Cobra Kai season New four. Eve. I'm super excited. Yeah, I'm gonna be putting it up. Like, yeah, it's December 31st. I'm gonna, it won't probably be on New Year's Eve because it'll be at, it won't release until like the next day prior, New Year's Day probably. So, yeah. so I would do it all of New Year's Day. So I won't be because my sister isn't like staying up late to do all that stuff. So I'll watch it the next day. We'll binge it 
And you know, yeah. Well, I'm gonna watch all this. Is, I'm gonna watch all of, like try to get through season. We got big thing. I got big some big things three. coming to the channel, guys. So you won't see any for for Riverdale until next year. We'll still be here for everybody. Again, if you guys watch Legacies, you'll see her next week as long as Legacies keeps going on. I think we're just on, we have the next one, then winter break, and then we'll be back for Legacies. And you won't see me for All American until I'm assuming next year, or maybe until, no, not in All American, until after winter break too, because I don't think it's done yet. It's still, you know, it's just winter break right now. Yeah, so you guys will but, see, still see me, so. But uh, I'm not talking about but I really do want to do reviews for Homecoming. Homecoming? For, um,. All American Homecoming. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I want to do that. All right. And I'm very excited. You got to catch up with All American. You do. I'm <laughs> but I'm, so. I'm so excited. But guys, I loved this episode. Great episode. I'm so excited for All, uh, All American Homecoming because rap is in it. Yeah. Being so. Alex Smith. <laughs> All right, well, well, guys, that was a video. Well, um, again, I want yeah. to know down in the comments below what you guys thought about this five part, you know, cross the, the no, five part crossover. This five part, you know, Rivervale okay. events. I want to know what you guys think about what you guys thought about. It. Let me know in the comments in the comments below what you what was your favorite episode. Yeah. This was our favorite episode. Yeah. Um, we're happy this is done. Um, we're happy we're just with normal mm -hmm. Rivervale now. It was cool. It was clever to get you know to do this, but I'm happy we're with our normal you know, universe or normal timeline. Yeah. It's good. But guys, that was the video. Again, we won't see you guys until so next year. Yeah. Um, but we hope everybody has a great day, a safe day. day. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Peace.